Hi everyone, I'm Heather Taylor and I've missed you all so much that I'm back and today I'm here with the lovely and knowledgeable Judy Wink and we are at the Chesapeake Bay Environmental Center otherwise known as Seabeck. Judy, I'm so glad to be here. Oh, so thank you so fun, much dude. for having me back. It's it's been it's been a little while, but I'm glad to be here. So today, tell us a little bit about what we're going to talk about. We've got some really exciting things going on and one in particular that we want to share with all of our viewers. Okay, uh, I'm very excited about this. I'm, we hooked up an owl cam to follow the natural history of the birds during nesting. And with this technology, it's amazing. You can be in the comfort of your home watching all the comings and goings of the nesting owl. One of the things that was kind of a little bit of a challenge since these critters are nocturnal, we wanted to be able to see what they were doing at night. So we have an infrared system hooked up on the nest so that when you go on at one o'clock in the morning, you got a bright, full area of seeing everything that's happening. The male delivering food to the female, the female incubating, the female rolling the eggs, all of that good stuff. Well, I am really excited to be here and I'm really excited to learn a whole bunch more about this really fantastic new thing at Seabeck. Tell us about the owls that we have in our background. I know that these aren't the owls that are going to be on the nest soon, but they're similar to what will be, correct? Right, we're looking at our rehab birds now. But they are great horned owls, and the wild bird that we have on camera, streaming live, is a great horned owl. So we're looking at the exact same species. By the way, great horned owls are probably the most common owl cosmopolitan-wise. They're found everywhere except Antarctica. So, so if you were to see an owl in this region, the Queen Anne's County area, it would most likely be a great horned owl, correct? Uh, I would say yes. Uh, there are m other birds, other owls in the area, but this is probably the most populous, right? Mm -hmm. And these are the large ones that do the whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> so people say, oh, it was like a hooting owl, a hoot owl. These great horned owls are associated with that vocalization. Now, are there any fun facts or trivia that you can tell us about these great horned owls? I know we talked about male versus female and how you can tell which one is which a little bit earlier. Okay, well, it's easy right here with our rehab birds because the females are slightly larger than the males. Females are a little larger because after the chicks hatch, they do most of the hunting for the chicks and they have to bring down bigger animals. So, Judy, we're in the woods at Seabeck. Hi. Now, tell us where and a little bit more about this great horned owl, what we can expect to see. The nest is 75 feet up, and right now, at this time, the female horned owl is really just checking out the nest, investigating periodically. Not on eggs yet. That happens near the end of the month. Once she lays the eggs, then she'll incubate for about 30 days. Then the next step we'll see, that's why this, this cam just, I'm just, obsessed with it. I'm addicted to watching it every minute I have. The next step after the eggs hatch, we'll see her feeding the chicks and then when she eventually about two weeks later gets off the nest to hunt, we'll see what the chicks are doing on a nest like while the mom's away, what are they doing? And actually what they will be doing is while they're nestlings, they're really practicing up some things that they will do when they leave the nest that will be instrumental to their survival. They'll be practicing like grabbing sticks with the talons, you know, to get the feel of how to work the feet. And they'll pick at things which will be uh, a precursor to them feeding themselves. So they do a lot of preparatory behaviors on the nest before they leave. When you got this idea to rig up a camera, how did you know which location the owl was going to go? Okay, well first let me tell you, there are many cameras on many things, on ospreys, on eagles, etc. But I thought, you know, not too many people can see what a great horned owl does since they're primarily nocturnal. Now during the nesting season they do hunt in the day to feed the young. But I thought, wouldn't it be a great idea if we could see these guys 24 hours a day and see what they're doing? So, because owls use the same nest over and over until it finally falls apart. They don't build nests. They never build a nest. They usurp other nests or holes in trees. Or so what was this nest prior this, to? Th this was an old eagle nest 
and they took it over. So I figured since they used the nest the last four years and it's still in pretty good shape, they may return this year. And we, you've seen some activity, correct? Yes, yes, we've seen activity. Actually, we put this uh, riggings with the camera and the ladder and everything uh, up in October. So we've been waiting, and, and they don't really lay eggs until the end of January. So we've been waiting until October. And I was getting a little nervous, just a little, because January 12th was the first date that we saw these birds come to the nest and actually the female make a depression so that's a sign that you know probably they're coming back they're coming back they're coming back they better it took us a lot of time and effort to I'm put sure this it did. up how can i view the nest what website where do you go to find it to see it now i know you've got your phone handy yes um, and you're looking at it right now as we speak yes It'd be neat if bird had land on it. <laughs> but anyway, uh, we'll have it on our website, which is www.bayrestoration.org. And it will be a live stream, and we'll have it on the home page mm -hmm. over the picture of an owl. You mm -hmm. click on the picture, and you'll be able to see what's happening. Very cool. So this will and be live 24-7. Yes. Excellent. Yes. So there may be some faux pas here, but uh, we'll see what happens, you know. Mm -hmm. Very exciting. Yeah. All right. I want to thank everyone for watching. Judy, thank you so much for having me. As always, it's such a pleasure to be here. Um, now, CPAC is not closed for the winter. I know you guys have all kinds of stuff going on throughout the year. So tell our viewers where they can go to find out more about what's going on and when you're open and all that great stuff. Okay. Well, we're open every day. And we do have our ongoing programs for little kids, the creepy crawlers. Um, we have a couple events coming up. We have a sea glass weekend, uh, February 28th, March one. Uh, we have Irish Bingo on uh, March 14. So we have a lot of things. And to find out what we're doing, you just go to the website, uh, bayrestoration.org. And we have a calendar there. And uh, we're, like I said, we're, we're busy all the time doing something. Right now, this is a great time of the year for people to come bird watching. Mm -hmm. A lot of people come for winter waterfowl and that, you know, um, taking pictures, you know, biking on the trails, hiking on the trails. So a lot of things to do. Well, it's great to be here. It's so beautiful. It's a little chilly today, but it's a great day to walk and hike. So for all of you folks out there who would, you know, want to get outside, this is a great place to come and visit. So again, thank you so much for having you us, too. Judy. And make sure to mark your calendars. January 27th or around yes. there <laughs> is when the Great Horned Owl is going to be on the nest. So uh, we look forward to uh, watching and seeing what's happening. Okay. Thanks. Heather. Thanks.